No more damage. What did I just walk into? Well, this is off to a good start. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. Rana just raised my corpse? Rude! <laughs> World of Wonders. We did it, guys. We made it to WoW in the 80s. You're at the west end of a long hall. There is a north-south passage here. There are ah. threatening dwarves here. Knives are thrown. None of them hit you. Goodbye. Ooh. At this point, I should probably be level one or two. I'm level... What level am I, actually? 54. Don't hunt Loke. Oh my god, she... She hunted Locust and killed her. Good. The incident I'm referring to is a disagreement between two criminals, Greedo and Han Solo. Blasters were involved, and only one of them walked away from the scene. We've identified a number of witnesses to the scene still in Moss Eisley. Go gather statements from all of them to establish who shot first, Greedo or Solo. I love this so much. Oh. You didn't see me do that? I didn't do that? You can't prove a thing. There's a lot of wolves. I'm getting pretty low on oxygen. How did... I would really love to know how that did not kill them. It worked. Oh. Oh, oh. I did not account for that. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. Fight or flight, sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the, Whoa! I was on a motorcycle, never mind. Even him, only 30 nanites, wow. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. 
As we begin this chapter of our story, we find you, Roger, Ace Janitor, doing what you do best. A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Back! Hey, oh. You are in my backyard here, sir. I got the mandibles. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? Watch out for that. Yeah, that. There's the other connector. This one cannot possibly fail. Patriotic, thank you so heckin' much for 15, sorry, not 15, 16 months of support. I appreciate that so much. I haven't even started the stream yet properly. Welcome on back to the Library of Lore, folks. Tonight we're going to be doing some more Starfield. Uh, let me just uh, get into my scene here. There we go. How's it going, Patriotic? It's good to see you. I do believe you are the first person to arrive. Other than me. Well, I, you know, rumor has it that I was here first, but... We won't worry about that too much. Let me just get the game going here. You kind of caught me by surprise there. I'm a little off guard. <clears throat> so, I streamed earlier this afternoon. My usual regular stream. Can't get it. I know. I know the feeling. That's why I'm playing it again. I mean, I don't technically have to stream to play it again. Because I have the off-stream playthrough going. But, ugh. It's so addicting. So let's just get in here. <coughs> so I've leveled up to level 22 and we are getting close to the end of the Freestar Rangers quest line. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat's a little rough. Probably gonna have to make tea later. Ugh, there we go. Um, what were we working on this afternoon? Oh, one thing I want to do. I'm not overly fond of these. Let's see what parts we've got available. Excuse me, sir. Anything I can help? Got anything you need to offload? Trader Thor? Sure. How about it? All right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't love that. 
I mean, it was it's better than it was. But they kind of suck. Actually, maybe I'll just keep one of them. We're gonna ditch those. Oh, some of these might be better. What do we got here? That could work. Nova Cowling. That's already a big improvement. I like that. Uh, let's also see about ditching this. Hmm, I don't like the doubled. The Constellation Quest? I've done a few of them. I've got certain abilities, let's say. that Demos breaking engine no yeah, nah. Seen people build those massive Star Wars destroyers. Talk about a ship. Yeah, I, I I don't have the money or the mods to build something quite that extensive. You know what? Maybe when that's colored properly, that might be okay. I'll give that a shot. Yeah, I haven't done a huge amount of the main story yet with Constellation. I've done a little bit, enough to unlock some of the abilities. <clears throat> I still have more I need to unlock, and then we need to progress further. But uh, we've been doing a lot of the Freestar Ranger stuff and a little bit of the UC Vanguard as well. I actually need to head back to the Vanguard simulator and do some, uh, you know, um, ship destroying for my piloting skill. So let's see here. I need to edit color. For color one, we want that. Color two, we want that. And color three is almost perfect. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of working for me. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not perfect, but it'll do. <clears throat> really like how it doesn't make you choose one faction. Bethesda has been known for only letting you pick one faction. <laughs> Fallout 4 lets you join several factions. You can be a part of the Minutemen and the Railroad. You can be part of the Minutemen and... Hell, I was part of the Minutemen and the Institute the first time I went through that game. Now, mind you, Nick and Piper got pretty pissed off at me, but I did it. It was okay. Oh, while I'm in here, geez, okay. I just remembered. I've got some of my weapon stuff swapped around. Pulse laser, missile launcher. I want this to be the auto electron beam. And this needs to be the missile launcher. There we go. Uh, you can be, you can, you, you can actually be Minutemen and Brotherhood as well. The Minutemen, you can belong to any of the other factions. And for a while, 
you can belong to all of them if you want to, but you do get to a point where you have to choose eventually between the main three. All right. Now, I've got some credits to burn, and I've got engines that I need to upgrade. So let's actually... These are the Amun 3 engines. Let's ditch these. Let's look at our engines. Those are Class C. I can't use those. But I can use White Dwarf engines. Okay. I don't suppose I can add more, can I? Can I do better on my reactor? Let's see. Only thing I do wish you could do is firefly or free fly around the planet within atmosphere. That would be pretty cool. <clears throat> But I honestly, I don't really think about it very much. So I can't honestly say I miss the ability. Reactor. What have I got going on again? We are using the 360T Stellarator. I think I've already checked. That's probably the best one that I can do. Oh, wait a minute. I may have unlocked a successor here. One forty four MM toroidal reactor. Let's examine these. So that is class A, but generates twenty power. Repair rate of one point six, reactor health of thirty two, hull four forty. Oh, yeah. Okay, the reactor health is slightly less. Repair rate is a touch slower, but it generates more power, and it's got significantly more hull. I think we're gonna we're gonna go with this one. I'm going to see if I can squeeze one more engine in. Let me see if I can slot these in here. One error. <clears throat> Excess engine power usage. Uh... Okay, so no, four is the maximum. That's a shame. Because three, they, they have max power of three, which means I can only have four, since you can have a max of 12. Come on. Nope. Come. There we go. <clears throat> you can't have a bar that doesn't fit in the slots. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Sadly. I don't think I can do better than these engines, can I? Oh, there's the air... the Aries. No, they're not as good. Oh, well... They're not as good, but I could have six of them. Which means if I had six of them... Maybe that actually would be better.
Oh, but how do they mount? That's uh, another issue here. Oh, what about these? Wait, I didn't know they had a MUN-4. What the heck? Power 2, thrust 10, 108, 71, 108. Okay, so the Ares are better for maneuverability, but in terms of raw power, raw thrust, the Amun is just as good. <clears throat> You're here right at the start anyway, Bob. How's it going? Good to see you. Dun 11. Oh, that's class B. Never mind that. Okay, maybe we just upgrade from the 3 to the 4 then. Assuming I can actually afford that, actually, it's uh, kind of looking a little bit pricey here. Yeah. I might have to go with this. Until I can afford 20,000 more, which is probably not a problem, I imagine, because I've got a significant amount of crap in my storage bins that we can sell off and... I'm sure I can clear 20,000 easily. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I will just leave these with the original Amon 3s. There we go. So we're upgrading our reactor and we're popping in four replacement drives and leaving two as they were. And I think I liked it better. Come on. I liked it better that way. I was falling asleep in chair half an hour ago, woke up because I forgot I was in a voice call. Oh man. Nice, Bob. I'm having second thoughts about these. They look a little bit small for the design of the ship overall. Okay, now we've got an error. Ship is missing a... What? Uh-oh. I think I deleted something I was not supposed to. <laughs> Cockpit for Zerp. I accidentally deleted the bridge. And a bunch of the other stuff from the very front of the ship. It's kind of an important bit. I have nowhere to sit if I get rid of that. There we go. That looks better. <clears throat> I 
I hate the ship does not have enough landing gear. Yeah. I haven't run into that one in a while. I've been pretty good with that lately. Okay. Install 15 unique ship modules. That looks much nicer. So we're just going to do a quick bit of selling. Especially when the minimum number is an odd number. Well, yeah, but just because it's the minimum doesn't mean you have to limit yourself to that. You can always put an extra one in. And that means it'll be that much longer before you hear the message again. Oh, please, take a look. Okay, let's see here. We want to sell from ship inventory. I'm going to keep the advanced suits... For now, we will get rid of these, except for the Constellation. Ditch the normal ones. And... Yeah, we'll get rid of that one, too. Right, but more mass, less maneuver. True. I'm not too concerned about maneuverability. I know eventually I'll get better engines and improve that significantly. Okay, oh... 16 credits we got rid of wow okay thanks for coming in i guess we're about done in this location let's go to the other section commercial <clears throat> Class C, it can actually do it all at the moment based on power allocation with a maneuver of 96. Not bad. Yeah, if you put the right components in, you can have a ridiculous amount of cargo space and really, really, really good maneuverability. It really just depends on how you build. Excuse me. How you build. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yes, indeed. What do you have? Oh, well, certainly. Cargo's where you shorted it? See, that won't work for me. I need all the cargo. I just don't want to sacrifice everything else to go for it. Okay, weapons. We can get rid of a lot of this stuff. And, oh, she doesn't have a lot of cash. But she can buy a few things. We might need to visit another planet to get all of the money I want. What do they got? 400 remaining? That's not going to work. Okay, that's probably about it. Back to it then. I'm on tax to Actually, hang on. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Oh. Well, certainly. I've come very close to filling up the cargo hold of my off-stream ship, which is sitting at around 8,000. If I buy a whole bunch of resources, I can not only crush my ankles, but... Oh, they've got adhesive. I can give them a lot of money that I can then take back from them by giving them all the weapons I don't care about. I'll take aluminum... Beryllium, 
cobalt and copper and cosmetic. Iridium, iron, lead, lithium, neon. Don't worry, I won't list off everything I'm taking. Titanium and tungsten for sure. That's probably maybe xenon, but then that's probably good. So now they've got another 7,000. Give me my money back. I saw some big numbers down here. Um, oh, let's make sure I'm not buying. That would really give them a lot of the credits. Waiting till I'm a higher letter level where better components show up to make it much better. That That's fair. That's fair. Uh, right. Sell. Weapons. We have 13 tombstones. That didn't last long, did it? Wow. Okay. Come back if you need something else. And now I'm dying. <laughs> Walking around on Earth? I don't know if I've visited Earth in this playthrough yet. We should probably go there sometime. Yeah, that's another thing I need to do at some point during the stream as well. I need to grab some more shots of the ship. Oh. Let's go drop this crap off. Instead of using the generic version of the original Frontier for my YouTube thumbnails, and my Twitch thumbnails for that matter... I am planning on using shots of the ship as it appears in-game, so I need to get some good shots of that. Captain, greetings. I love that I've actually managed to make my ship so big that I can't just walk up the ramp anymore. I get stuck and have to jump. Oh. Okay. I managed to max out my ship's cargo again. Fortunately, I have managed to get a little bit more money. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Sure, have at it. Okay, okay. This is not going to do my maneuverability any favors, but we're going to do it anyway. that ah speak of the devil 
too few landing gear. All right, what do we got? This is a mid bracer. We can delete that. Wait, did I? No, okay, we're fine. We can just delete that one. What the? Gear. Oh, crap. All right, fine. Oh, that's so irritating. I'm at the wrong starport, so I can't just duplicate this frickin' landing gear. Let me see if I can get rid of... No, okay. We have to go elsewhere and do this modification. That's annoying. wonder if heat leech damage was a removed feature. I don't know. I'm okay with it just being, you know, like a flavor thing. I've never heard of heat leeches actually doing anything. See why I hate it? Eh, yeah. It's usually not a problem for me. I don't usually do too many extensive modifications here. I usually go to the Stroud Eklund areas, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Hey, Gooby, what's going on? Thank you. I appreciate that. It is a pretty big Class A ship. You are correct. How are you doing, Gooby? It's good to see you. We're just doing a little minor ship upgrading. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Thank you, Andrea. Let me know if you have any problems. Well, I think you'll find we have some tempting options for you. Oh, you've come to the right place. Okay. Now we should be able to do it. Actually, let's just duplicate these. There. Now we've got an error. So we ditch that, and there. That should be okay, I believe. Don't know. <sighs> About to shower, enjoying the night off. I'm doing pretty good. I was really feeling Starfield, so I had to stream again today. 
Yeah, it crashed. It's true, for Zerp. it's true. Just imagine how much trouble we're going to get into when I've got class B and C. Uh, I should theoretically have an autosave when I boarded the station. We'll see if that's true. Eleven oh four. If not from when I boarded the station, at least it's pretty recent. My previous edits to the ship should be intact. Yeah, just when we boarded, that's fine. Welcome to Stroud Eklund. Stroud Eklund may be new, but it has a lot. Let me show you our stock. Okay. Now I'm quick saving before I even move. <laughs> Oh, right. Now I have a new re-randomized interior. That's fun. I won't worry about it too much for the time being. Let's see what we did here. Not bad. Not bad. We're now up to 53. Call it 54. I hate the interior so much, they just need to let you go into edit mode inside chips. Yes. Yes. Hell yes, Gooby. It's really weird that they didn't do that, but I expect that's going to be fixed very soon, I would hope. I really hope. <laughs> I scienced it for two hours trying to figure out a way to get hallways to go where I need them. Yeah, it, it's pretty much hopeless. And speaking of hallways, why do they only give us one-by-one one companion ways? Why not give us two-by-one companion ways, three-by-one, four-by-one, one-by-four? You know, just give us hallways that we can physically place. That would solve so many of the problems. Uh, okay, what are we doing? What's our mission? Faction. The Hammer Falls. Go to Hope Town. Oh, right. We have to confront... What's his name? Go to Hope Town. Uh, you know what? No. We'll just set a course. People say modders will fix it, but I prefer to play my games in a base state unless they're horribly broken in some way, but I'm weird. I'm okay with modding, but I like to wait a while and play the vanilla version of the game for a good chunk of time first. Then I mod it like crazy. Another jump down. Welcome to Freestyle Collective. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship. No problem. And that's it. You're clear to land at Hopetown. Thank you. But I need to empty my inventory first. Resources. There we go.
What the heck? Berserp! Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Gooby. That is so kind of you. I appreciate that. Oh, and also for Zerb, worth noting, I got a shipping confirmation on the Lego set. Thank you once again for that. Oh, you did too. That's awesome. So welcome back, Gooby. You are now a lore keeper. Five months in a row. Holy crap. Yeah, I remember that because I've actually contributed to a few of my own. We've had weird things happen occasionally where people have attempted to 100% fund a thing and it left it at like 99. So I've kicked in just a little bit and as a contributor I got the shipping notification as well for it. That didn't happen this time, obviously, but uh, yeah, it's happened in the past a few times. I expect it's because of international currency conversion. Yeah, rounding errors, exactly. Keep an eye on your valuables. All right, let's quick save. Where exactly am I going? What am I doing? Confront Ron Hope. My investigation... Oh, spoiler alert, by the way. If people are working on the Freestar quest line, the main faction quest line, uh, we are nearing the end of that, so if you don't want it spoiled, you might want to tune out for a few minutes. My investigation into the activities of the mercenary group called The First has led me to the Hope Tech founder, Ron Hope. The First's leader, Major Paxton Hull, had evidence that Hope hired the First to seize farmland. Now it's time to learn Hope's plans and bring him to justice. Which is going to be fun, seeing as he is on the council that oversees the Freestar Rangers, of which I am a member. Wait, he's out in the factory floor. Or some office space esque steam. Yeah. I'm I'm betting on international currency conversion myself. Man, I love this room, this whole area. They've done a fantastic job, once again, with the world building. It looks so, so good. That's very generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Bernie. We set some ambitious quotas. You and everyone. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Those jackasses on Line A are gonna be the death of me. Hmm. Something more you need, Deputy? Yeah, I'm afraid you gotta come with me. Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Not for you personally. Oh, I learned something very interesting. Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. I'm afraid Paxton Hull has implicated you in a conspiracy against the Free Star Collective. Oh, the, the same Paxton Hull who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I... I've never met the man, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. I have evidence that you hired the first to seize farms. That two-faced bastard kept the slate. Oh, I suppose. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a... Bright future ahead of you. 
What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Tell me everything. Uh, the cards are on the table. So why not? He is giving up way too easily. We've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out a fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. Go on. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. You sit on the Council of Governors. You betrayed the very people you are supposed to represent. I wish there had been another way. But I had to play the hand I was dealt. Yeah, because, you know, there's a severe shortage of uninhabited spaces on planets that you could do this to. You had to go and do this to farms. There was no other choice. You use the first to seize the farmland and keep the operation secret. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... so awful to innocent people? To families? Not another word out of you, Birgit! I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. The, uh, no, that's not enough. You're right. Yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm, well, uh, uh, perhaps a discount on their next purchase from Hotech. They might what? not be so keen to purchase a ship built with the blood of their compatriots. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As resolved. A of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. I don't think so, sir. You don't seem to understand this. <laughs> You're going to turn yourself in, and I'll be telling the marshal everything. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees if you tell anyone about this you're risking their livelihoods let there in the background is being awfully quiet these people out of work and make their families suffer you don't get to play that card anymore sir i don't want anyone to suffer i want justice justice can be complicated deputy sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If 
that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. He clearly I didn't get the memo on the first. Threatening to attack a free star ranger, are you? You have overestimated your position, Mr. Hope. Oh my god, I love that. She had such a great line delivery there. Bribes and threats aren't going to work on me. If you refuse to come quietly, I'll have to use force. You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. On my authority, you're stripped of rank. Declared an outlaw. Guards! Dispose of this criminal. Oh, is she hostile? She is. Wow, she's very loyal. What the hell? Where did she go? Oh. Well, I'm sure my boss is going to be very happy about this. That was it? I expected a lot more resistance. I can't believe he thought that was going to go his way when I just took out the entire first mercenary unit. He... he tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... So <laughs> Thank awful. you, Kellenray. He cared about the people loyal to him, but nobody else. The first part is true. He always looked out for us, for his employees. Then that's how you should remember him. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No, he was more like a father. And now he's you, you killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? There must be a second in command. That's... That would be Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There are uncertain times ahead for you, but they will pass. I really like having Andresia around. She's really good. I think she might be my favorite companion at this point. Although I do like, what's his name as well? Sam. Sam is pretty good too. And I do really like Sarah. I know she's not the most popular, but I like her. Kellen Ray, I had a question for you from uh, this afternoon, actually. How do you register a ship without actually paying to register it? You said something about doing it in inventory? We'd be dust. Don't go hostile on Gordon now. Yeah, that's good general life advice, Bob. If you live in the Star Starfield universe, do not go hostile on Gord. What is this now? That looks very much like it might be a U 
mercenary ship. Are you gonna go hostile on me too? No, they are, you see, United Colonies. They're good. You still have to pay, but it costs less. Got it. Okay. Always a satisfying moment. So, let me see here. We've got our ships. If I go to, say, this ecliptic stiletto that I acquired during the afternoon stream, it costs less to... to I don't have enough credits. Okay. We can fix that soon enough, I'm sure. Into your ship. Yes, Voidum. I acquired it. Ready here. Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized. Alright, where are we going? Back to Aquila. Talk to Marshall Blake. He's gonna be so thrilled. Generally, it ends up being that if you take a ship to register at the ship vendor, it will be a profit of 2 to 6k when you sell, but if you register from inventory, it can be 5 to 12k. Well, that's not bad. Thank you very much for that info. I will keep that in mind. That actually might make it... it it's still not like, you know, the super lucrative business I was hoping it might be, but it's a lot better. Let me just auto save, or quick save, rather. Hey, Aaron Lord, it's going pretty good. We are about to get chewed out for killing a member of the Free Star Collective's major government council thing. Also, five minute warning on a break. In my defense, it turned out he was a scumbag who betrayed the country. So, you know, he was a traitor. And he kind of deserved to bite the bullet. Hey, deputy. Work hard, play hard. That Good to see you back hard. safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Oh, boy. It was their hideout, but I took care of them. Damn. You've got guts of steel. You have no idea. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Yeah, about that. Ron Hope hired the first to grab fire and farmland. What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. I'm not done. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. He was. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? Yeah, he did. He supplied the farms with an experimental fertilizer. It boosted the soil's mineral content, but killed the crops. That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. These are Hope's instructions to Paxton Hull. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Uh, yeah. I'd hoped he would turn himself in, but he wouldn't go down without a fight. Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. 
Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colony. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the marshal. <laughs> not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. Wow. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? Oh, am I getting promoted? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? It would be an honor. Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Well done. I'll strive to be worthy of the title. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. That was such a fun quest line. I love it. As a full-fledged Freestar Ranger, you have been granted your very own Star Eagle-class starship with no registration fee required. Nice! Congratulations. The promotion's well earned. Thank you, Emma. Something you need from me? No, nope, I'm good. Well, hey there. I do need to take a quick break, though, and it's going to be a slightly longer break, actually, maybe six to eight minutes, because I think I'm going to make myself some tea for the evening. So if you guys need to get up and grab something, this is a real good time to do it. Then we're going to have to check out this brand new shiny ship. So I'll be back in just a bit. But I, I'm still kind of tempted to play them. Okay. Oh my god. Well. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Damn it. Well, now we get to test out the idea of whether I get to keep my engine that I spent all my money on. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Nice. Wait, 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 whoa. 
Hang on, hang on. Tony Pudu. Rana no prata dung no sercha. It you a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> I remembered at precisely the wrong fraction of a second. <sighs> oh my god, no. No. Get out of here. See? They're out to get me, I swear. Look at him playing all innocent like I didn't notice. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh wait, he's actually climbing! What the hell? Well, so much for that. What? What? Bessmar Essence Didok, Swords Dwarf, has been found dead, completely drained of blood? Oh, shoot. Oh, good. Okay. Sorry. Traffic simulation is a tough nut to crack, though, for a game that has to track so much else at the same time. Yeah, yeah, Drop yeah, the anchor. Drop the anchor! I'm not- I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor! No. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Did, did somebody drop the anchor finally, or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Hi. Sorry for um, that. Now that we've something. So we'll get a clip of that one. I didn't think that was going to work. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I have loved this game for a very long time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I, I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. 
this has some real potential. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. Oh! 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 Perfect! Look at that! I got all of them! That is awesome. Okay, I am back. Hey, Boydum. Okay. New ship. Star Eagle. Ooh, that is fancy. We're probably going to need to do something about the colors. But I like it. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Erinor. So, let's see, this is Class A, pretty decent reactor in that thing. Not the best jump distance, shield is not bad. Five crew, that's pretty good. Twenty-five hundred cargo, this is actually a pretty good ship. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, Free Star Rangers mission board here. Tau Seti 4A. I'll accept that one. We're probably not going to do that right away, but we'll take it as an active mission. Or inactive. Oh, actually, that was not the only thing we got. The ship was only one thing. I should also have a brand new outfit. So we don't need the deputy hat. Wow, the deputy uniform is better. What the hell? <laughs> That's weird. You can't even see it under the suit anyway. Okay. So, I've made a few edits to the ship. We should probably take a look at the interior and see what's happened to it. Is, is that how the saying goes? Yep, that's close enough. Okay. Hello. So down here looks okay. There's not really much on this level. So I think this is a three by one, all in one compartment. Then we've got a large three by two mess hall. And 
that leads into main engineering, which we have to access to get through into, this looks like the armory. So actually this level, it looks exactly the same. The doors, they haven't changed. If I'm not mistaken, at least. Oh, there's another one here. Ah, the science lab. I'd better not spend time in there or I'll get tempted to blast those barrels. This is the bridge. Handy stairs up. This goes into the workshop. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Good to see you. And there's not really much on this level either, so it's mostly that middle section. All right. So now I guess we need a mission. Hadrian's asked that I get permission from my commander to take this tissue sample to Percival Walker on Mars. I need to return to Commander Tuwala in New Atlantis and see what he says. Well, we just did the Freestar Rangers. Why don't we work on this a little bit? do that. We'll set down there. I need to change into Vanguard gear. I don't need to, but I'm going to. I have never quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. Though I suppose I should. Okay, let's see. Do I actually have a Vanguard uniform? I'm not so sure that I do. Is it more the spacesuit? Uh, there's a ranger spacesuit. That's cool. I could have sworn that I had a. Shoot. Does anybody know where you can get a Vanguard spacesuit and/or uniform? I thought I had one. It seems to have gone missing, unless maybe I left it at uh, the lodge or something like that.
Well, that's what I'm asking. Is there a vendor? I mean, I, I guess since we're not too far away from it at the mass station, I can just go and check the UC distribution center. You have my attention. I'll just hit up the commercial district. any issues in your dealings with the distribution center let us know we're always striving to improve have more cash on hand distribution something i can do for you yes i hope we have what you need i hope so too uh they have no outfits they have a calibrated uc combat suit sidonia spacesuit oh i like the green that's cool UC Marine. Refined UC Marine. No, they don't carry anything. Back to it then. Grunt work. Oh. Okay, then I'm mistaken. I haven't actually gotten it yet. That's what we're on our way to get. Problem solved. It'll be interesting finishing that at 25. I wonder what kind I'll get. Will it just be the basic or will I get something a little fancier? the elevator. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. I need your permission to deliver a terramorph tissue sample to Mars. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the Terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? No survivors, sir. All lost to a Terramorph, which I killed. You killed a Terramorph on your first mission. If I could be frank for a moment, holy shit. <laughs> Above and Beyond doesn't really begin to describe it, now does it? <laughs> Earned yourself some serious hazard pay on this one. But uh, if none of the settlers made it, Who's got you delivering the sample? There was a researcher investigating the place. She gave me this gene tag to show you. You just hid and pistoled it to death because it wasn't dangerous? Trust me, it's dangerous. Hadrian. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Uh, that's still, it's it's still dangerous for Zerp. It might not be dangerous to you specifically, but it's still dangerous. You're just a bona fide badass. Just got a material called Vanadium. Yep. I believe that's actually a real material found right here on Earth. So this might actually be an urgent mission then. Certainly seems that way. Is your survivor, Hadrian... 
Does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She's not sure what it means. She wants a Dr. Walker on Mars to analyze it, confirm it's a threat. I... I see. Well, this is one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. But if Hadrian Sinan thinks this sample needs to get to Mars, then we're gonna make sure it gets to Mars. I'll take care of the clearances and ensure you get your credits. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. They're really now, nice there wasn't ship parts, else. too. Suggest you move out. Really, really nice parts. Yes. Oh, some of these are better types. Refined UC Vanguard space helmet? Ooh. Let's take a look at these. Uh, I probably should have dumped some of this stuff off. Doesn't look like they've given me uh, an actual outfit in the apparel category. But uh, they just gave me a normal spacesuit. That's unfortunate. You see Vanguard pilot skip pack, so that's generic as well. But at least I got the refined helmet, which is ugly as hell, but at least I've got it, you know? So that's pretty cool. I got the upgraded helmet. You stole from Atlantis before joining, and you got a different UC join star? Interesting, Bob. Uh, I don't know, for sure, but, I mean, I end up with a fair number of them, so I would probably guess that it is. I've got lots of legendary stuff in my off-stream playthrough. Most of it's stuff I don't care to use, but I do end up with a fair bit of it. Currently lacking chameleon, and I'm far from getting it naturally on the skill tree. Maybe I farm bounties tonight. Maybe. Not a bad way to go. One thing, if you uh, make sure to play the part of Loot Goblin probably, or properly, and you know pick up everything that's not nailed down, Make sure you've got a ship that's got a decent amount of cargo space, and you can make a lot of credits farming those things. Even when I see it with my own eyes, it is still hard to believe. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Okay, let's make sure stick all my stuff I don't need off in the cargo spaces that we just upgraded. Uh, okay, I don't need... I don't need these. Ranger pack as well. Oh, I like the Ranger helmet, actually. That looks pretty nice. We need a way to customize the colors on all this gear, though. Hey, Ansara, what's going on? I'm sitting on 131k, but I only pick up specific stuff and pickpocket everyone in towns that I can. They Oh, really? 500 to 1k credits. Nice, Berserp. Digipix. I'm probably gonna... Well... 
Yeah, I, I might go and grab some more digipicks, actually. A few of those are going to be necessary. Going well. Finished my usual Friday night movie watching. Now sitting, settling into play stuff. It's going very well. We just got this. Which, you know, I need to edit the colors. I'm not really loving the color scheme, but it's a pretty nice ship aside from that. Yeah, so we got a Star Eagle. I am now a full-fledged ranger, not just a deputy. And I finally officially finished joining the Vanguard as well, which I hadn't realized I still needed to do. Uh, so we're going to Mars. Yeah, that's the reward for finishing it and becoming promoted from deputy to ranger. Yeah, I've been enjoying the Vanguard story so far. Pressure holding. Take off boots. Orbital insertion achieved. We're spacebound again. Okay, we want Sol system. And we're headed for Sidonia. Oh, you haven't finished the Ranger one yet. Uh, it's such a fun one for Zerp. I really enjoy that one. I'm actually not used to seeing Mars during the daytime. I'm used to it at night. You met Hope Guy first, found the thief, but then went and did the neon one instead. Well, you'd kind of need to do both of them, right? Do your part to keep Sidonia feet free. Do you imagine anyone actually enjoys living here? Simply not. Oh, we have to do this again. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? I was told a man named Walker works here. Captain Gord, Vanguard. I need Percival Walker's help investigating a troubling discovery. Do you now? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested <laughs> no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. Understandable, Aaron. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. What the heck? Celestia, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. What's going on? Oh, you were playing Starfield yourself. That's awesome. I love this game so much. How did your stream go? Tell me what you got up to in your game. What kind of build do you have? What sort of stuff were you doing? What kind of missions are you doing? I would love to hear everything. 
Uh, folks, if you are new here to the channel, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a narrative streamer here on Twitch. I play mostly story-driven games, whether they are stories provided to you by the developers or stories you create yourself in simulation and strategy games. Uh, either way, I love them very much. And I occasionally do Lego builds as well, so if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit else. of a... Shh! I'm trying to welcome the Raiders. Uh, if, it, uh, <laughs> if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. go that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here thank you so much the last year it's so good to have you and your community here let me see level 34 ish scoundrel using pistols and rifles just got done with some wandering and discovery random side questing as well i love doing that stuff in this game we're working on a little bit of story stuff but it's all side story stuff um i've advanced the main story just a little what the hell preserve what the heck thank you what the that is so generous. Thank you, thank you. What the heck? That's amazing. Thank you for gifting so many subs. Yeah, it's 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 wonderful. I sometimes when I play off stream, I just pick a planet and I go and uh, I try to survey the whole thing and maybe do a few of the unexplored, you know, abandoned bases that are being held by pirates and all that kind of thing. Uh, let me see. You don't sound particularly interested in finding him. That's correct. We're no longer interested in Dr. Walker's services. <laughs> That's he true, Erinor. I need to get back to doing that. Debt to his name. If you were to find him and get him to pay, the trade authority would be most grateful for it. Just this one time? I am all too aware that once one starts doing favors for the trade authority, it can be difficult to stop I'm not your bill collector I just need to know how to find him yes not everything needs to be a transaction hmm. pity perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest visit the sixth circle a bar on the lowest level of the city if someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is you'll find them there Okay, I've always actually agreed to do their favor before, because I've done this a few times. I had to revert some of my progress a while back on this save. 
It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Oh, uh, we don't need the elevator. Things can get pretty glum around here. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Hadrian Sanon sent me. I'm looking for a man named Walker. Doc Walker? You're barking up the wrong... Eddie. You. Why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with Walker? Not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? You've made it to the undermap of Atlantis now to access the proxy chests. <laughs> I'm making a delivery for Hadrian Sanon. Look, I even have proof she sent me. That's so. Hmm. Now, if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right. Maybe she did send you. Well, maybe you just know where to buy your fakes. But look. Even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. How would you suggest I go about clearing Percival's name? Well, the most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. If you've got credits to throw away. I'd rather course, not. Rumor is the trade authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say... A few hundred credits? I'd be happy to cover the costs. Crossing the Trade Authority could be perilous. There are real stakes here. But, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another. Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, but you might need these. I'll see if I can get rid of the debt. And I look forward to hearing the good news. You know, I've never done it the sneaky spy way before. Maybe Adrian's friend. Come here. Where you work. Oh. Heard you talking with Lou. So you're going to help Dr. Walker? That's the plan. Oh, good, good. Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B &E. But the B and E kind of sounds fun. Hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. I presume there's a reason you haven't handed it all over already? Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. The spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh, I know what comes next. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Yep, yep, you are Reven. How's it going tonight? It's good to see you. Awful lot of work to avoid buying a pillow, but sure, I'll help. Great, great. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. 
Your investigation with the Freestar Rangers has come to an end. Are you satisfied with the results? Yeah, pretty. It's a bad scene all around. No one should be satisfied. I suppose not. This Ron, supposedly a man of the people, is more concerned with profit than lives. He was not the first, and certainly will not be the last. We're just going to ignore the massive explosion then? Money can bring out the worst in people. At least he will no longer be able to prey on others. I am unsure that death was preferable to justice. But at least the situation is over. And there is no question who was to blame. I didn't want this, but he gave me no choice. No, he did not. A very poor decision on his part. Perhaps a lesson to be learned by others who would break the law. At least while you serve as ranger. True. It will be an honor to wear this badge. I think less of the badge and more of the personality. But you should be proud of your accomplishments. Shall we find some other adventure to occupy us now? That's why we're here. I like her. I think she definitely moving into my favorite companion spot right now. She's very, very cool. Uh, maybe the next one, Bob. Or maybe they refresh. Okay, I am curious to see if maybe we can actually do both of these pathways to success here. If I wanted to access this above the the uh, the higher up area there they said it was accessible near paths near the bar right how would we do this not there This looks promising. If you're going to use the elevators or stairs to reach the other levels, try to keep them clean. I hate filing litter reports. Just for you, I will make a point of it. What a day, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, is this Cydonia? That's why there was an explosion there. Oh, fracking. Okay. I suppose that's a semi-reasonable explanation. Quick saving. Okay, so clearly these two are incompatible. But these two look like they work together quite well. Normal ref vendor refresh is 50-ish hours. The ship tech is five to 600 hours. So find a planet with warp time like Venus and sleep for 600 UC and then try again. As someone from Pennsylvania, you have feelings on fracking? Yes, but that's on Earth, where it actually impacts people. On Mars, it might be a different story. I hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Percival Walker, account override tool. Fifty credits.
And now we can still go and kill all the spacers. Actually... Lose Savadra. Charles Flynn. Okay, so nothing interesting to do there. Bounty added? What? Why was I... That's annoying. Fine. Oh, it's because I did it while I was detected. You're under arrest. No. Good. We don't. I'll reload. That's what I'll do. Got to watch that detection thing. No. Um that's weird, my mouse is gone. Quick save. Even Elder Scrolls you had to worry about that? Yeah, I know. Okay. So those two work together very well. And that's got to be them. Because they don't work with this inner ring at all. So we can use that one and then just flip that one. How quickly can you get that done? I'm not going to try stealing anything this time. I'll just do our business here. Okay, I think we're good. Howdy. One advantage of having, uh, our current companion, whose name is escaping me for the moment. Sarah hated everything about the idea of breaking in and changing that. Andreje, right, yeah. You guys know me and names. We don't get along. Andreja is all about justice regardless of the method. Yeah, we're going to get along really, really well.
she does have some lines, then we'll get along even better. Because I'm not necessarily down with, you know, by any means. I definitely have my lines. You found someone when you were working as an espionage agent? Very nice. A connection between two points in space, Aranar. Or in this case, between two conceptual ideals. Wow, it got dark very quickly. Just murder everyone and let their deity sort them out. Sucks for anyone who doesn't have one, but that is their choice. I was doing the right thing, but the way I did it kept making her dislike me more, but I think the whole exchange was a net, like, because I got her companion quest after that section? Interesting. Five minute warning, guys. Uh, sure, what's up? It's not necessarily the best time. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? The artifacts mean something. It's important we find out what. It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. You've got to have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Your experiences must have been very different then. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. You've obviously been through a lot. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It's not a life I'd choose for myself. Choice had nothing to do with it, not for me. But looking back, I understand their concern. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Okay. 
Back to our stealthy mission. They've got to be landing at the spaceport over there. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, look at how far his body went. That's amazing. I'm going to see if I can go find that. That's way out there. Oops, I think they might have seen me. Look at that! Holy crap! Ads are starting. I will be back in just a few minutes, guys. What was that? trophies what the heck I should already have gotten that There we go. Oh. There we now we there we go. <laughs> what the hell is this? Dude, it's not going to work. Give it up. <laughs> So, I'm dead. Nope. 
No, no, no. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there, a new water frog. Oh, that happens sometimes there in there. Does he have a frickin' rocket launcher? Holy crap. Forty mil XPL. I wonder if it's this. Let's take a look at this. I've never tried one before. Might be worth modding this up. Best not to leave anything useful behind. I have to admit, that's kind of satisfying. Earlier today, it was doing a hell of a lot of Monkey Island clips. Like, sometimes several back-to-back. -back. I think it's done a few tonight, too. it'd mean no XP and that would be a bad thing. Also, no money. How did you spot me so easily? I swear they have like natural advantage on perception checks or something.
galvanized deep recon skip pack. Oh, sorry. Ready go. Back to being sneaky. They can't see it if they're dead. I can't get a good spot with cover. Nice. Oh, I can do rank two now in combat if I want to. I'm thinking though, uh, I still can't do more piloting or starship design. You know what? I've never taken rank two in boost packs, and I use them all the time. Let's make it better. So there's at least one more.
interesting. The weight's still... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, there's a window. I sometimes forget I still have that ability. Okay, fine. Where'd the others go? Oh. I love it when they make it easy. Textile is good. Use that in crafting every now and then. You jerk. Get him. Thank you. I bet you didn't realize Andresia was a professional heat leech killer. Hard to believe anyone found this to be a profitable exercise. Clearly it did not remain so. It sounded like they had found me for a moment there. Okay, what the... Oh, no, not that way. I guess it's this way. Having a hard time trying to find a place for an outpost? No way we can get through this. The caves in the back might be a suitable alternative. Finally woke up. You were streaming when I went to sleep and are still streaming. Well, it would be more accurate to say that I'm streaming again. I ended my stream at my usual time. I have a pretty hard out on Friday. Don't really have too much wiggle room with when I stop. But... There was nothing starting me or stopping me from uh, starting up again. Yeah, I don't know enough about outposts yet to really be helpful, Bob. Maybe consult the interwebs. I hear it's good at that stuff.
I've only ever had that the one time, Nixes. That was the first and only. It will probably happen again, though, given my my typical playstyle with the games. Oh, that was the guy. Okay, so we're done. Technically. So in the case of the planet I mentioned, you're looking for mountains where you will see where you see an iron deposit and look for a spot where it goes into hilly dunes next to an aluminum deposit, then land there in the mountain zone on an edge. Press F to bring out the scanner and R for outpost. Walk around with the outpost out and look in top left to see what resources you can gather. Make sure you can get at least iron and aluminum. If more, great. I'm trying to get something where I can get iron, aluminum, or, you know, at least two really valuable, important, commonly used elements together with helium-3. I can never seem to get this resource node for some reason. Oh well. I probably don't need it that badly. Vessel 3B has iron, aluminum, cobalt, nickel, platinum, helium 3. Very nice. What are the odds they amount to nothing? No game would ever do that to you. Okay, so there's no cheese wheels in this game, but there are cheese bricks. the one running away, sir. You're going down.
Okay. I think he's maybe trying to take a little too much on. Literally. Ridiculous. What's the point of having special magical powers if it's not to enrich yourself with mountains and gobs of complete crap? Have a good night, Reven. I need to collect a sample of hematite to run through the thresher. Grab a laser cutter and head back to the chamber where you came in. Once you've got a sample, thresher's the big machine in the next room. Passcode to start it is Ares 233. Ares 233. Okay, I'll be with you in just one moment. I have important business to take care of here. Looks like it works out pretty well. Your Bessel 3B doesn't have helium? It should. Water, you pipe your helium three in, got it. Well, maybe one of these days we'll just go on a big excursion to scout out some planets and see what resources they've got. See what we can dig up. Oh. Right, we need to check back in. All set? Good. You can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. There should be a key stashed in the thresher room if the spacers didn't make off with it. I'll be waiting at the circle. Okay, find the key. Key found. I just explore every planet? Yep, there are people that do that. I really enjoy exploring the planets, it's really fun. Especially because, unlike No Man's Sky, this game has planets that actually do have more than one biome. Not to, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that to knock No Man's Sky. I still think that's a really great game. But this game does a lot of stuff differently.
The moon next door, Bessel 3A. Interesting. See, I haven't... I haven't worked around with transferring materials at all, except for the very most basic level of setting up a container next to the extractor and shuffling the materials from the extractor into that container. Just want to get researching more. Yeah, you need a fair amount of materials for that. Oh, you have this special power open and know how to use it. I wanted to ask about it yesterday since it's so good for running when being over in Cucumber. Yes, it is pretty amazing for that. And I've also found it's extremely helpful when sniping as well. Because while it is active, like while you've got your little fancy visual effect going and all the particle stuff and your, in, your, um, your oxygen is locked at maximum, you can hold your breath until you run out. So it greatly extends the ability to hold your breath and aim steadily. So it's really great. Uh, we don't want to be here. lifting capacity, a dose of this stuff could make a biner way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. 50 credits. Okay. So here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? So all you do is set up a helium farm, put at least one helium extractor into a box and direct that to the single box fuel, then direct to the other extractors into other boxes, link them to output, then you can go to its control panel and set its link to your other outpost. Nice. I can give it a whirl, sure. I wish there was a dialogue option for I already lowered his debt. And here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Yeah. I hacked the Trade Authority terminal. I'll take those credits now. Not something you want to say too loud now, but good work. Here, go dig our man out of his pit. Okay. Be careful down near the mines and enter any active sites at your own risk. The Rangers sent out a silver tongue negotiator who managed to get the key. Oh, 
Let's stop by the ship and take care of this encumbrance issue. A moon named Pontus in the system Olympus. Beryllium, helium-3, and aluminum. Nice. Ah, damn it. Uh, I still have the freaking lucky boots. Getting a bit low on med packs. That's maybe not the best. Let's see if I've got any more stashed in here. Oh, I do. Okay. A dot for landing? That would be the center of the circle. Just use the center of the circle as your dot, and you're good. Uh, what am I... What's my goal here? You, I don't want to... Oh, am I locked into this? I wonder if they're going to notice that his debt is currently only 50 credits. Okay, well, I guess if we gotta, we gotta. I was hoping to avoid giving it to the trade authority, but oh well. Oh, but actually, no, we don't have to, do we? I'm gonna see what happens if we just run back out there and go do the rest of the interaction and just completely cut the trade authority out. See Transpo.
It should be just on the other side of this hill over here. Now I could go down through and through here again, but the elevator's on the other side of this hill, and that'll take us back down to where we left, and we can just carry onward from there. planet has 0 0.8 grav. See, that's the best. This has 0.38 and it's already really amazing for jumping around. 0 0.08 is fantastic. Okay, here we are. In theory, that should be the end of the spacers. In practice, we'll have to see. Why does this planet have negative gravity? How do I land? Did he not give me... Oh my god. I am not walking all the way back. Press control to thrust you down. I thought he gave me the key. I couldn't forget that, Callan Ray, because I didn't actually know. Used to think I was Vanguard material. Until I discovered the space. Oh wow, you move so slowly when you're not running. I think I have to do it. I don't I don't think I'm getting that key until I make the deal. That sucks. Oh well. Wow, Callan Ray. You didn't have to do it? How did you get the key? Oh, that's true. I could pay off the 50. Was there something else? Do you now? Very well. Let me take a look at his... Hmm, that's not the number I remember. Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. Here, his current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. 
Hmm. Then I suppose that's that, then. Dr. Walker's dead is officially no longer a problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. Okay, I you guess that makes sense. I was just lowering the debt so that it could be paid off easily, not wiping it completely so that I would get the key, I guess. So my fault. I misunderstood. Yeah. It's done, eh? Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Mm, yeah, a little bit. The passkey. I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. Okay, then. Thank you, Lou. Percival's going to be real glad to have that weight off his shoulders. Might be time I uh, start working on some projects of my own. You might want to take a commercial interest in that formula. Trade Authority has no hooks in it. I'm glad I did this one without Sarah, because, man, it feels a lot better not giving them anything but those, you know, paltry 50 credits. No mega profitable, amazing, super science-y formula that they can use to enrich themselves even further. But I can make use of it. Yep. First outpost I made, I did the same thing, Bob. It happens. You can just get rid of the outpost and build it in a better spot. Helium does not work like this lead deposit here. You're not going to find an area that's helium like this. You're looking for one of the gas jets. Just make sure you get a gas jet or two or three in an area where you've got some of those ground deposits of the solid materials.
the geysers and oxygen not included? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, where are we going? Out this way. Oh, shoot. This, I... No wonder I'm freaking overloaded. I didn't empty my inventory this time. I had done that the first time, put it all in my ship. Okay, all right. This looks so much like a vault entrance in Fallout 4. I love it. I know. It's so blatant, Aranar. See, even look look at this. Is this not a vault tech vault? It's even better that this is the hideout of someone trying to prolong their lives from those outside that would do them harm. And somehow, we are five minutes away from another break.
build a second outpost for helium and output link it to your main outpost. I... I... I, that's an interesting question. I have no idea if they can overlap. I would expect probably not. If they were going to bother doing that, they would probably just allow you to expand your outpost border. Sorry, what was that? Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Dr. Walker, I'm here to make a delivery for an old colleague of yours, Hadrian Sanon. Hadrian sent you? She's... did... did she look okay? She's alive, but was injured trying to collect this delivery I've got for you. If you consider getting gored by a terror morph and living as okay, then yeah. Fortunate to be alive at all. Hope you two had plenty of backup. Mm -mm. So what's this she had you bring all the way down here after putting you in harm's way? Terror morph cells from a world too young to have one. Hadrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this. Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. It's been a bit since I saw Andresia. What happened to her? I'm sure she'll turn up. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the debt. Managed to uh, negotiate it down to something more reasonable. Good to see someone give the trade authority a bit of their own medicine. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. The sample's not a fake. I collected it from the terror morph myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? <laughs> this sample. It's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. Hadrian mentioned it. It sounds like quite the tragedy. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for you. The chances for survival, let alone maintaining any kind of functioning society, would be slim indeed. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? I'm going to take a quick break and then we'll get back to that. So, uh, if you need to get up, now's a real good time to do it, folks. You gain XP for cleaning things up. That's actually kind of cool. Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> the story 
stories say he sought to claim it's someone there. <laughs> what the hell? I forgot about these guys too. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. What have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. Ferengi pack led, my god. Seriously, you can be pack led? Rigelian, Saurian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to. <laughs> Oh my god, no, don't push me off! Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Lydia. Guys, if you could stop popping up and shoving me to the side, that would be amazing. Thank you. Jump into target sector. Achievement unlocked. Explorer. Okay, I'm back. Orders are to take you and that analysis to Hadrian. Should be waiting at the sixth circle. The circle, huh? Thank you, Adstara. Could use a drink about now. Here, faster if we take the lift to the surface. Thank you, Kellner. I'm to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Okay. Ooh, not all of this stuff is considered stealing. The biggest surprise is not that the UC engaged in Xeno warfare in the... I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? No. Double, double. Civilization in space, what do you know? Okay. Thank you, Gallon Ray. Is there another spaceport off that way? That's kind of weird.
Luckily, I think that's the last time we have to go out to that place. Three trips is more than enough. I didn't know you could find that on the surface. Holy crap. Celestial. Wonder what that means. Inaccessible. I can drop stuff off. Twenty-eight weapons. Oh, man. California, how's it going? It's good to see you. What's up? Hope you're doing well. I put away a few weapons I wanted to keep. Like that one. That's probably good. Captain, greetings. That's not good enough. What am I still... Oh, I didn't dump any resources. That would be it. better. All three in one outpost, and yes, helium can be found as a region like... Oh, really? Okay, that's good to know, Bob. I've only seen it as jets. At least I thought I had.
Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know Hasling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. And Lou said we could use the back. The United Colonies Department of Labor would like to remind you that working too much overtime is harmful to your health. And if any injuries are mistaken, the red eyes are some badge of honor, I take it? Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. No problem. It's two of us. I hope it ultimately <laughs> didn't end up being too much trouble. A little more gunfire than I usually like on my delivery jobs, but nothing I could manage. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian. That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. Mm -hmm. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. It doesn't sound like any run-of-the-mill data you're after. Think you owe me an explanation. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. I actually know who you are, and your past, well, that's none of my concern. Oh. Well, that, um, that means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the colony war. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Okay. Then let's go talk to this cabinet. All right. I'm going to go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are going to need it. Thank you, Percival. Time I uh, start working on some projects of my own. I don't know that I feel like necessarily going on to the next step of this because we've done it relatively recently. We will get back to it, but I think we might actually start working on a little outpost stuff of our own right now. Catelyn Ray, what are your best suggestions for a first outpost? I think it would be a first outpost. Let me actually check the map and see if I've got something somewhere.
find the interior of this ship comforting. That's what they all say. Okay, what are we looking at here? I've got almost 50k credits. I've got a ways to go before I ding 24. Did I? Yeah, I already spent my skill point. Bissell 3B. I'll at least take a look at it. I'll show you the place where I've actually got my starter outpost in my other game. This Zamka moon is not too bad. 0.42G, it's a rock world, it's frozen. The atmosphere is thin, oh, but it does exist. Let's go take a quick look at it, and then we're going to go check out the one you're suggesting, too. I just want to get your impression of this. So we're looking at water, helium-3, copper, nickel, iron, uranium, cobalt, and vanadium. Uh, I'm not interested in time dilation. Possibility of an outpost with iron, aluminum, nickel, cobalt, platinum, etc. You have your starter on Zamka. Okay. Okay. You have your starter on Zamka, valid outpost location. I wouldn't mind something with a better atmosphere, though. Oops. So let's take a look at this Bissell world of yours. North, northeast of Seoul. Are you talking about Altair? Oh no, Bessel. Okay. Other way around, I'm sure, Bob. Altair is the real name of a real star. You're looking for a spot where desert meets hills and mountains. Okay. out more than their jump drive.
Oh, they got me. Weird. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at this. Water, aluminum, nickel, iron, argon, cobalt, and platinum. That's not bad. And neon. You are looking for a spot where desert meets hills and mountains. Hills. Mountains. Mountains. Hills. Rocky desert. Spot that looks like the continent of Australia, an iron deposit. I can't picture Australia off the top of my head. They've got swamps. This one? I do not find that the resource overlay helps. Well, we got the hills and the mountains. Other side of the planet, actually. Are you sure? That doesn't look promising. No worries. I wish it were easier to spot desert by sight. Ocean can't land there. It's rocky desert. Oh, hang on. Desert, mountain, hill. So maybe right around here. Except I would actually rather be in the actual either hills or into the desert. Left of where you are now on that subcontinent. Right here.
It's a shame this is nighttime. Makes it even harder to see. Have a good night, Bob. Oh, this looks like it might be a, either the area you're talking about or something very close to it. Why will you not click? Yeah. This is what I've got right now. This looks like it's sort of clustered right in that general area where they all meet up. So I'll wait a minute and uh, see what you come up with, Cal and Ray. Or maybe I'll actually... I can always find a new landing spot. It will have seasonal cycles there and there, and it will have weather, I think. It's definitely going to have snow. I assume it will have rain, but I don't know for certain. No indigenous life signs. Hi. I can't access that. An error was encountered while processing your request. One less thing to worry about, I suppose. Aluminum, oh, I see. Aluminum water. They're coming down really close by. I need to check them out in case they're bounty hunters. Okay. That looks very similar. You're maybe a little south of me. So I'm going to call this the right general area. They're not bounty hunters. Aluminum water. So I just wander around until I find a good site. They are aluminum, okay. I may not have found the best site ever. It doesn't really seem to be changing at all. Ruddy and rust colored is iron. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of that around here. Mm. 
mountainous regions contain cobalt. Can't collect argon. That's kind of weird. Yeah. that is hidden. Jog on? Yep, pretty much. Well, if nothing else, this will be a relatively easy survey mission. the missing neon. Hey, Mr. Zagi Raman. It is fantastic. How are you doing? A valley seam. Okay. for a bit. Excellent. That sounds good, Mr. Sagi Raman.
I haven't tried. I'm not trying to find a boundary. But there will be them. The uh, landing areas that you get to are pretty enormous, but they're not infinite. Still aluminum and water. Okay. Starting to wonder if maybe I picked a dud of an area. Trying to get to a high point so I can see. That's exactly what I'm just starting to think about doing a little bit of Mr. Soggy Ramen. I'm far more interested in shipbuilding. Location matters a lot more in this game than it does in something like No Man's Sky. I'm trying to find a good spot for resources. So that building is right by where I parked my ship. Keep going north and see if I find anything. No, actually it does not, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Shipbuilding does not require materials like that. shipbuilding, you just need the right skills, you need the right qualifications, you need the right locations, and you just buy parts from the various manufacturers and construct your ship. Materials and whatnot are useful for building bases and also for doing research projects and crafting of various types. Been busy with Baldur's Gate, Pokemon Legends, Arceus? Yeah. I know Baldur's Gate is going to take me forever. I'm still probably in the later stages of Act 2, but still in Act 2. I haven't even begun to breathe of seeing Act 3 yet. 
got to get back to Baldur's Gate 3. I think uh, the big patch just launched yesterday, right? Technically yesterday. Sort of today in subjective time. Because I haven't gone to bed yet. So maybe tomorrow's stream will do that. If I can get it updated on the uh, PlayStation. I can't really tell if I'm heading into better terrain or not. It does look like it's maybe transitioning a bit here. That could be encouraging. Have the same trouble with Baldur's Gate that I have with Skyrim and other RPGs. I keep restarting because I don't know how I want to play. Currently have a Dark Urge save where I've killed and plan to kill like half the companions. There. Oh. Well, we've eliminated the aluminum. That's great. Now it's only water. At least it confirms that not all the terrain in this map is exactly the same. So there is that. There we go. We got some aluminum back. But I find playing evil hard sometimes, especially when it comes to killing dogs. Well, then just don't kill dogs. I mean, that shouldn't even have to be said, really. Unless they're ripping your throat out, in which case, you don't really have a choice. weird. We've got these strange formations, but no 
No aluminum. Even the Dark Urge can have its limits. Lines it won't cross. One day I plan to do a Dark Urge playthrough where I just completely resist the urge. Oh, this looks like it might actually be close to the edge. I assume this is where the edge is. That is a very big area, though. Open the map to explore another region or return to your ship. Interesting. So there you go. Now I've hit the edge. Oh, did you see the link I posted in the Discord about that, Mr. Soggy Roman? They created all kinds of fully voiced characters to take care of edge cases that, like, two people in the world are ever going to see. Alright, you know what? 4,000 meters? Wow. I just ran four kilometers. Or close enough. Let's try a different direction now. It is good to be back in our own ship. Enjoy it. We're only there for half a second. Okay. Now we're going south. But we're not going south right there, apparently. Yep, that's true. The animals do. The one slightly disappointing thing that they tried really hard to do but could not quite manage to do was dispel magic. I found it fascinating to read about. They tried really hard for a really long time to get dispel magic to work and ultimately had to scrap it because it would have doubled the size of the game to account for every instance of ways that you could completely just eliminate. It 
el eliminate magical effects if you had access to that spell. What the heck is this? Who are you guys? Oh, pirates. Easy money, says the person who just lost three quarters of her team in an instant. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for all your help tonight, Aaron Lar. Baldur's Gate 3 is amazing, but Baldur's Gate 4 is going to be off the hook. I don't know that they're necessarily thinking about making a Baldur's Gate 4 just yet. I think they want to do Divinity Original Sin 3, actually. I will tell you, after playing Baldur's Gate 3 for a while, I'm not only going to be playing more Baldur's Gate 3 because we're going to do other playthroughs. I'm also thinking I might have to revisit Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2 because I never finished either of those even though I started streaming both of them. Also, guys, it looks like we've got four minutes until another break starts. Aluminum and water. Wow. I really think I picked a lousy spot. Baldur's Gate 4 in 20 years with the advancement in AI and VR and quantum computing. Tower, huh? To maintain productivity levels and ensure your safety, humans are not allowed inside the facilities. Anyone attempting to enter the facility and engage in work activities will be terminated. For your safety, you will be terminated if it looks like you're going to attempt any work. You gotta love it. out here. Too close to the radio tower, I assume. I 
potential for the development of a room temperature superconductor. Maybe I should move a little south of here. Would you plug yourself into the matrix? That depends on how the plug works. How permanent it is and what the risks are. If it involves extensive spinal surgery, no. <sighs> you know, Callan Ray, this is not looking very promising. At least not to my eye. Maybe your more knowledgeable eye sees it differently. It was very difficult to find the seam lines. Hey, it's not your fault. If it's just something you can put on and take off with no trouble, Mr. Soggy Roman, then absolutely I would. Why wouldn't I? are in progress. I'll be right back. Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here, because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway, which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or, I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. Um, oops. That was maybe not my best move. You will be safe there. Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my. But it was stream related stuff and it went incredibly well, so I'm very happy with the results. Maybe even gaining the advantage over... What? How are there... Where are you? What? Rude. I haven't had Prime Rim in a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. Alright guys, you ready?
Nice. Okay. Now they can get out of there. Before they get eaten alive. In RimWorld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... Okay, I am back. I was just checking the tracking on my Baldur's Gate Collector's Edition set. In theory, it uh, is estimated to be here on Tuesday. And I am kind of thinking... Maybe I try a different landing spot here. I think this one's a bit of a dud. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Roman. Thank you, Kellen Ray. Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? I think we're gonna go... Let me just check your image again. Yeah, it looks like you're just a little bit south, kind of on the edge of that red bit there. So maybe right around in here. There's, there's mountains and desert. Where are the hills? I just noticed when you're docked, if there are any windows, you do see your ship in the correct place. You can try the mountain desert boundary. Yeah, and there's also swamp. Oh no, your ship is shown. It's actually pretty awesome, especially when you go to something like the Eye for Zerp. It looks really awesome. Captain, do you require my assistance? Okay, at first glance, this looks very similar. So north is that away. I probably want to look more south. I just docked with a ship that has a docking port in the front of the ship with the cockpit looking right at it. Too bad it's the bottom of my ship for convenience. Yeah. More aluminum and water.
It's too quick to bring up the menu. see if I can climb one of these mountains and get a better view of each side. I wish you could scan for good resource conjunction points. That would be pretty awesome. water. They are Mr. Sogi Roman. A lot of people don't actually know about them yet, though. I try not to talk about them too much, although I do use a couple of them now and then. Oh yes, many, many, many of those, Mr. Soggy Roman. I'm just trying to set up a resource base at the moment, so life is potentially a downside, actually. I'm starting to suspect that I might not be a terribly picky outpost builder. <laughs> it might be easier to just spam smaller ones that deal in one or two resources. 
Maybe three. And ship them all to a central location. And just work on your skills so that you can have like 24 outposts. The neon one is busted. Yeah, I had trouble with the neon one too. Let me show you. Aquila City actually carries Stroud. And uh, don't forget that Neon has two for Stroud. If you go to their showroom on the uh, you know the main strip, you can access it there too. So if you go to the Cheyenne system and go to Aquila City, you can get it there. But the best place to go for Stroud is the Narian system. That's where the Stroud Eklund Star Yard is. It's in orbit around Dipala. So you're just looking for this one here. No problem. My pleasure. Yeah, this looks basically exactly the same as the other area. I'm not really seeing a transition. I'm sure it exists, because, well, you found it after all, Callan Ray. I don't know if this is something that I'm going to want to try to search for on stream, though. It's taking up an awful lot of time for very few results. Hammer, how's it going? I mean, unless you guys enjoyed looking at me just searching for the right spot to build an outpost. In which case, I don't mind so much. might be more exciting if I did find a world that was a little more interesting though Somehow you'd never been to a space station. Yeah, you have to get close to them, and you have to hail them, and then you have to dock. What is that over there? Let's go check that out, just so that we have something to focus on that's not this. Right here? What do you mean, right here? Aluminum and water. I wonder if in 200 years humans will still play exploration games like this. Honestly, after humans become spacefaring, it's hard to see the species continuing after that. No worries, no worries.
JH, how's it going? It's good to see you. What's going on? I agree, JH. Just because some people go into space and are exploring for real doesn't mean other people are going to be doing that, and it doesn't mean they're not going to want to get their vicarious experience of it somehow. here. Secluded encampment. Oh, is this a bounty hunter who's going to want me to go to the far side of the planet? Crimson Fleet pirate leader with a price on their head. They're in this area, along with the rest of their crew. Up for a fight? I'll cut you in for half the bounty. If you're still alive, of course. Count me in. Great. Meet me at these coordinates. We'll strike once we're in position. All right, where was that mission? That was under... Was it that one or was it MISC? Or activity? I don't know where that one went. Uh, yes, if you want to, you can, Aranor. You can talk to somebody like a representative of the bounty collector faction thing and they can remove it for a certain number of credits. I'm in no rush to do that though. I actually like it. Uh, excuse me ma'am. I don't suppose you could tell me where we're going. Oh actually we're probably going there. murder whoever put it on you? Not that I know of. Although I would not be surprised to see a mod or something come out that changes it to that. But it kind of seems like there's a story that goes with being wanted. I haven't seen a whole lot of it yet, but I get that distinct impression. And it is always possible, of course, that maybe there's more than one way to get rid of the bounty. I only know of the one way so far. to whatever it is. Crystal Crater. Okay, maybe it's not here then. <laughs> it is. You get a lot of free gear when you kill all the bounty hunters that come after you. And you get free backup for a lot of encounters, because it turns out that um, there's also a thing called Bounty Defenders. And the Bounty Defenders, they're bounty hunters, but they're ambitious ones. They want to retire on your bounty, so they keep you alive long enough for your bounty to keep going up until it's really, really high. 
and they will help you kill other bounty hunters that are less patient than they are. Okay. Maybe we'll go back to that other planet we were looking at. I can always come back to this one. Oh, no. Oh, did I fail the mission to get the bounty? That's actually kind of funny. Or is it just on pause, maybe? Helium-3, iron, and nickel. I don't recall saying anything of the yeah, sort, I'm Mr. Soggy Roman. What the heck, J.H.? Thank you so much, J.H. It is really good to see you again. I have missed having you in streams, and I've been thinking... Even if I've been M.I.A. a bit, don't think I've not kept up with my gourd streak and keeping my eye on you. Me, she, one HUD. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been wondering about you. How have you been doing lately? What the heck has been going on? It has been a bit. Alright. So we haven't done any surveying of this planet yet. But we've got stuff in the area. Including that big building. There's another building there. We've got an unknown over here. Another unknown out there. Oh, I probably missed it, J.H. I was kind of hypnotized by the landscape. <laughs> Let me just see what's going on. I've been playing lots of stuff lately, finally getting a new PC guts and case. Oh, that's awesome. <coughs> also feeling my network gear rack that I've had five years sitting around. Trying to build a new table to have all this stuff. It's hard work. Yeah, it can be. It really can be. But that sounds amazing. I'm really glad to hear it. So what kind of PC are you putting together, and what are you planning on playing? This year has been completely insane for games. That actually looks a lot like the encampment we were just at. Let's go check that out. And I'm going to try surveying while we're at it. See if I can find some decent stuff. Okay, there we've got Cobalt. There's more cobalt over here. Helium-3. That's good. I think the evening time slot is hard for me. Lots of competition and also sleep is creeping up, which I've been trying to address, so can't stay up too long in evenings anyway. Yeah, I mostly stream during the day, actually, these days, JH. I was on earlier today from noon until about 6. And I'm gonna be on again tomorrow in about 9 hours from now. 
and I'll be going until probably 6.30. So like six and a half hours or thereabouts. Oh, this is... This is not like the other thing. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. I could use a little shooty action. This is a big one. The crater provides excellent coverage, both environmental and defensive. Smart. That wasn't nothing. I'm hoping to play any game, really, like just currently, especially since I'm not going to replace my 1070 yet, and yeah, it will bottleneck it, yeah. I put together... Hopefully lowering my electricity usage instead of going up like last time, which was about a decade ago, yeah. Power usage is becoming more and more a consideration. Oh, hello. They didn't need that turret, did they? Oh, sorry, Andresia. <laughs> Reading up on the wanted trait, I think I'd skip it. Not frequent enough bounties unless there really aren't any other good traits. Honestly, there really aren't that many that interest me. A lot of them have to do with citizenship and faction membership, which don't interest me in the slightest, at least so far. Maybe once I know the story and the factions a little bit more, they'll appeal more to me. But wanted kid stuff and dream home are like, I tried to make a different character when I created my off stream playthrough and I just couldn't find anything that seemed like it was better. That was still when I knew literally nothing about the factions. You know, maybe being a citizen of the Free Star Nation would be better. Now that I know a bit more about them, really kind of hard to say. At the time, it really just didn't, like, I didn't know what I was getting myself into with that kind of thing, so I didn't do anything with it. You know, or the UC citizenship. I don't know that that would do a whole lot. I think about the only effect it would really likely have is allow you to buy property immediately. And I'm not even sure it would do that. If it's, you know, maybe that you're, if it's actual citizenship, it should. But I think it's just that you live there or you were born there or something. I don't know that it even necessarily grants actual citizenship. So there's a, there's a lot to look into to really understand it. Enjoy your lurk, Reserve. 
Disk prices have come down a lot, so going to M.2 slotted main disks, 1 and 2 terabyte, very nice. No more spinning rust for me on my PC, only on your NAS, yeah. Factions were best implemented in Fallout New Vegas, I feel like, especially because they clashed with each other and the decision seemed meaningful. Maybe. I, I can't really say, because I'm not really a New Vegas fan. So I haven't played enough of it to really be knowledgeable about that. Okay. Of suppressed eon. To quote one of my favorite movies, service guarantees citizenship. Yeah. Yeah, I liked Fallout 3 quite a bit, and I like Fallout 4 quite a bit. Not huge on New Vegas, though. I know that's not necessarily the popular opinion. I know people love New Vegas, but it never did it for me. You detest New Vegas. Interesting, Kellen, right? I like a lot of Obsidian's other games. Just not that one. Another series you need to get back to playing? It's a good one. Okay, that one looks good. Okay, that's not good. Never mind. I don't think I'm going to do the digipick thing in this one. I really want to play Fallout 1 and 2, but they're so old and so much reading too lazy to do all that. They're not that old. Maybe a novice one.
I can't wait for the confirmation that there's going to be a Fallout 3 remake. We don't know for sure. Well, that would be where the rumors are circulating from, Nixus. That is not confirmation. Until they actually come out and say, yes, we're doing this, we have no idea if those leaked documents represent a canned project or not. Or even just someone writing up documentation you know, in advance of a project that might happen, but they haven't decided to go ahead with yet. Can't really say. Got one. Good job. Sure they do. Crippling rescue axe. Incendiary Arc Welder. I'm not a huge fan of remakes anyway, since the gameplay is still the same. Yes, but that means that the games, especially something like Fallout 3, good luck getting it to run on a modern system. Remakes are so important for game preservation over his time because we have lost so much of the early history of video gaming just because the games were never updated never kept running on modern hardware and the hardware has been lost and the code has been lost so there are so many games that no one will ever get to play ever again in my experience laboratories like this rarely produce anything benign You are in the very, very small minority then, Nixus. It's a very difficult game to get running. It's notoriously hard. The other early Fallout games, uh, 1 and 2, are also kind of tricky. I mean, you can get them to run, but... I guess it's more a streamer thing, really. Streamers have a hard time with those. It's possible, but it's, uh, it, it's trickier than one would like. Well, like I said, it's more of a streamer thing, JH. If you're not streaming them, it's probably easier. You don't have nearly as many compatibility considerations and display quirks. Another way through here. I'm sure where it leads. Winner takes all these dead phrase, is it not? Uh, welcome on Incarnate, by the way. Well, either we press on or we turn back. Your call. Uh, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna do it. I need more digibix, like that.
Since I don't care about graphics so much and I've played it so much already, yeah. That's fair. I would kind of love to play Fallout 3 again sometime. I don't know when I would have time. I guess we're due for a lull in game releases at some point, though. There have been an awful lot of things coming out just back to back to back. It can't last forever. There's got to be a little bit of a gap. Stuff like that could probably happen during something like that time, that period. Usually just lurking till something interesting gets discussed or so. Got Euro Truck 2 Sim. Euro Truck Sim 2 since a week. Oh, that's cool. I've never played Euro Truck Sim, but I was very surprised at how much I really enjoyed American Truck Simulator. That one is surprisingly fun. There we go. Surprise. Must have the coffee. Good games take years to make. All that came out now is in dev. Oh yes, I used to be a game developer. Uh, designer specifically. I am familiar. I suspect the sudden glut in 2023 has a lot to do with the... Um, the pandemic shutdowns and whatnot. A lot of companies working from home, working slower, then starting to catch up and just all kind of reaching that same point at not the same time, but roughly the same time frame at least. So it might carry on a bit into 2024. But then I think at some point it's got to wrap up, you know, kind of trail off a bit and then we'll have a little bit of a slow period. Maybe. Or maybe it'll just feel like a slow period because things will go back to the way they normally are. Look at the Pokemon series as an example. Scarlet and Violet were good but could have been so much better. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with Pokemon as a series. But I get you. Locked. Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. Ludicrous. What a strange notion. It exists, therefore, it must come with us. All right. They need to bang out a new one every year, and it shows, sadly. Yeah. A lot of franchises are like that. Okay. Where did I park? 
Back that way. FIFA all over again, no matter how terrible or derivative it is, the Pokemon fans will buy it. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. The purpose of any game is, you know, for the player at least, is to have fun. And if you're still having fun with it, then I don't see a problem. I do hope big game releases start coming out sooner thanks to AI. Maybe AI can make bigger world story assets, etc. There are some ethical issues that need to be dealt with before that's likely to happen, on a big scale at least. But I think it's inevitable that those problems will be solved and that will be the case. That we will see AI accelerate everything. This is iron territory, okay. Cobalt and water, actually. And some nickel. X-Wing, or at least we're trying to. I haven't done much of it, and I'm discovering that it's trickier than I assumed it was gonna be. <laughs> Which is fine. That's, that's... It's all part of the learning process. Okay, ooh, what are my statuses? Extreme solar radiation and ambient cold. So that's miscellaneous and resources. Let's, yeah, I've got too many weapons again. will do. I'm going to head out towards that and find out what that unknown thing is. And we'll see what we find along the way. Very possibly Nyx. Nyx is, that, that's fine. As long as they're on the ship, I can get them back again. Oh, here's some nickel.
When you get to the edge, there's a stark color and texture change. You can then follow it like a seam to find a mix of biomes. Got it. Storm Crater. Might as well carry on and do that one too. Yeah, it's the type of mineral that you want though. Some of them are very useful for crafting and research. And that can make you money. Ideally. Which, depending on what kind of playthrough you're doing, if you want to do a lot of that sort of stuff, outpost building and all that kind of thing, it may be very important. Or it might not be important at all. If you're not into that kind of thing. seem to get this one. Maybe it's not one of the big ones. You can leave the scanner open like Gord is doing, or you can leave the outpost item out and the minerals will be displayed in the top left. Oh no, it's absolutely intended, JH. There's another unknown out there. We might as well head out that way. Here we've got nickel and water, so it looks like I have done a little bit of a transition. Cobalt, nickel, and water again. of them. Oh. Looks like uh, our last break of the evening is coming up very, very shortly here. Less than a minute. I'll just try to reach this one if I can, and then we'll take our last break and then carry on a little bit longer. Far side of the mountain.
crystalline matrix. Okay. That was another ship, JH. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in just a few minutes. So if you need to get up and grab anything, now's a real good time to do it. Forget about it. This ought to encourage me. What? I expect to be well paid. Nubby. For the money. What the heck? Nubby, thank you. I have no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me. It can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. thing I saved recently. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. I played this war of mine back in 2014. It's one of the earliest games I ever played on stream. I call it Depression the Game. I don't play it anymore. God. <laughs> wow, that was so close. We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Mokhtarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Mothis. <laughs> the Grand Mothis, I love it. No problem, Kellen Ray. I will catch you again soon. I am back. Um, whoops, what did I just do? Lung damage and a cough. Awesome. Let's go this way so we can scout out the ship as well. Thank you, guys.
Oh, wow, it's on the other side of that mountain, too. Oh, that's another crystalline thing. I might as well grab the XP for it, I guess. That's a pretty big ship, actually. What the heck? Oh, it's UC ship. Okay, so we aren't taking this one. UC Pelican. Hey. Excuse me. Okay. Just checking in. I kind of like this. Okay, I would have to break in. We're not going to do that. I just want, really wanted to confirm it was not the bounty hunters coming after me. But it looks like we are fine. So no worries. Oh, who are you? Yes, what? Okay, hello. Alright, see ya. It is looking pretty good. I do like that one. Um... I just need one more mineral and this planetary scan is complete. I don't remember what the other one would be, though. I guess the map would tell me. Uranium... Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Water, helium, copper, nickel, iron, uranium, cobalt, probably vanadium I haven't found yet. No. Cobalt, nickel, and water. Yeah, it's vanadium. Okay. That, I think, is the rarest of the resources found here on this world.
build bases, conduct research, upgrade weaponry, spacesuits, helmets, boost packs, all that kind of fun stuff. Oh yeah, and of course, selling. Oh, I do. I actually sell tons. I sell all kinds of crap. I just have to collect it first. spent an hour looking for one beetle was it a scavenger type they seem to be the hardest type to find but if you hang out near you know the uh, the mass extinctions not extinctions but you know the battlefields where a bunch of stuff dies being scavengers they like to hang out and pop up around those I don't know, maybe I will conduct my surveys and uh, attempts to find good planets in my off-stream play and then just kind of import that over to this one indirectly because there's no such thing as importing stuff between saves. Just kind of learn where the good areas are and then take advantage of it. I netted a lot of XP shooting wildlife in the meantime. Yeah. And that's something I learned earlier today, actually. Apparently when you hunt, like when you shoot or kill an animal in the wild, I think it might have to be a kill. Prognosis improved, excellent. Um, it counts as a scan, which is especially helpful if you happen to be trying to scan something that's big and nasty with a vile temper. You don't have to get up close and wave a scanner in its face. You can just, uh, you know, stand back and wave bullets in its face at high speeds, and you will get the scans regardless. Although, on occasion, you may find yourself with a mission from certain botanist scientists and whatnot who want you to do specific scans and they prefer that you not actually kill the subjects it's up to you whether or not you do that <laughs> it's a cave over there I rarely find caves are really worth it depends on the cave I guess
I, um, I don't think it's that detailed, JH. It's more an outgrowth of the illness system in Skyrim and Fallout, where I got into one of those gas clouds and it caused me lung damage because my suit protection was not enough to protect me from it fully. You don't always get lung damage, but it's a possibility anytime you're exposed to something like that. Oh, I do believe that's our last missing mineral. There we go. Okay. Hello, Captain. Oh, we already went to the deserted robotics lab, didn't we? And we went off and did those. Ooh. Are we going to get stormy weather? I could swear I'm hearing very subtle thunder. And it looks cloudy now. There it is. I did kind of want to go and find out what those are. I'm definitely hearing something. Oh, that looks like a fairly dramatic landscape change over there. That's interesting. Maybe this is the area after all. Oh, something ha changed. What happened? Lung damage stable. Okay. Uh, do I actually... Can I treat that? I don't have a lot of aid on me, do I? that not work? No, I don't think I've got anything for it. Oh well. That's okay. Helium-3 and water. <laughs> Helium-3, water, and nickel. Okay, I think this is the area. We might build something here. Not right this second, because we're getting on to 4 o'clock and I can't be up too, too late tonight. I'm already up later than I wanted to be, really. But I think we're going to save here. Because Helium-3 is kind of a priority for me. 
Helium-3 will allow me to produce fuel that I can use to generate power at all kinds of other bases. Oh, look at... Oh, this is... This is great. <clears throat> Iron is also an extremely important resource. Iron, helium-3, and water is amazing. Honestly, it's amazing enough I might actually drop it down right here. I just want to try something here. Yep, you can, J.H. Uh, I kind of suspected that you could, Nixus. I wouldn't go so far as to say that I knew. find a good place for this. This looks like the best direction for it. Okay. theory my ship is supposed to be here now let me actually force a redraw oh I would hate that Nexus I mean the existence of the mod would be fine I would never use it though I like the natural look of it I wouldn't want a completely flat area and you don't really need to worry about the rocks and all that because they will just automatically be removed when you build something. All right, what can I do to this? Uh, oh, I've got... Got money again. Let's get rid of those.
There. <laughs> it's still not showing up. Uh, that's okay. I can maybe force it in a different way. It gives you more thrust, more hull points. Uh oh. Um. That's not good. This might be a sign that it's time to shut the game down and go to bed. At least I know roughly the area that that was in. It'll be relatively easy to find again because it's close to the ship and with a definitive landmark between me and the ship. You make it go. Exactly, Aranor. Yeah, I, I, I think the game is not happy right now. I think I may have just lost a bit of progress. Okay, guys, it's about that time anyway. It is four in the morning. Let me see if I can find somebody awesome to raid. All right, let me see. If you want more Starfield, Laxative Legacy is playing some Starfield. Um, Pallet Box also playing Starfield. Simcopter's doing some World of Warcraft. Paige the Witch is playing Cyberpunk 2077. Lunady is still playing Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, her first playthrough. Tea with Mandy, Cyberpunk 2077. And I think that's about it for us this evening. Thank you for being here, JH. It's really good to see you again. I'm glad you were able to make it tonight. Need to get off the computer, so whoever... Yeah, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure who I'm most inclined to go with tonight. Thank you for being here, Nixus. Thank you for being here, everybody. Let me go over the list one more time real quick, like. So we had Laxative Legacy with Starfield. Oh, I missed... Uh, Draven is on. He's playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Pallet Box, Starfield. Then we had Simcopter with World of Warcraft, Paige the Witch with Cyberpunk, Lunity with Spider-Man Miles Morales, and T with Mandy with Cyberpunk. Oh, and What If Julia playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. So if anybody has a preference there with regards to the game or the streamer, let me know. Otherwise, you're going to force me to choose. <laughs> And uh, I'm starting to get pretty tired. I don't know how well I'm going to choose. Not that any of these would be poor choices, mind you. 
any of them would be pretty good. That Disney game may go free anytime soon. Yeah, I keep hearing that, but I don't know. It never happens. I have so much other stuff to play about. It's the last thing on my mind. Although I know people are playing it and loving it. So, I mean, that's great. I just don't know when I would have time to play it, even if it were free. I think we're going to go with tea with Mandy tonight. So let me get you her link. T with Mandy is the leader of one of the stream teams that I'm a member of, Team Stay Cozy. And uh, you guys know Ma Mandy. She's been a friend of the channel for a very long time now. She is comfy vibes and a weird obsession with playing horror games, although Cyberpunk's not very horror-y. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the new Cyberpunk. I don't have it installed right now on the PS5, but I'm going to take care of that after stream, I think. Uh, I do have the new DLC installed. I'm not going to start playing it right away. I'm going to wait, you know, after the new DLC comes out. I'm going to probably wait a month at least. And then we'll get into that a bit. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. But I wouldn't mind checking out because I believe the new 2.0 changes that introduce a lot of the complete revamps of all of the game systems are live now. So I'm really, really curious to see what's happened with the game itself in advance of that DLC. So here is the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own, or maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Mandy's channel, see how she's liking the new Cyberpunk release, and I will see you guys over there. And uh, don't forget that I will be back here in roughly eight hours' time. Uh, not certain what we're going to be playing, honestly. I've got to update Baldur's Gate as well. We might do some Baldur's Gate. We might end up doing some more Starfield. Either way, you know it's going to be a good time. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening. Whatever it is where you are in the world, I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now.